Hey traders, Rogi here. And in this recap video, I'm going to walk through some of our current open trades uh, with particular emphasis on the Dow, on copper and on the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. So we're going to run through a pretty good cross section of our current open book. All right. So the Dow, Dow is really about trade management. And when you think about where we sit at 23, 363, this is a fine level because, you know, this is still well above our entry at 23,210, 23,205. We're really, we, we are willing to refire that level if and when we do get that opportunity down again at 23,2. In the meanwhile, remember that 23,345 was our first profit target. And I really just want to back off this trade. What does that mean, back off? I want to be able to say that I've got a certain cushion of profit. And then I can go over to the auto chartist and say there are a couple of choices I have. One, I could utilize a daily price movement range and look at that value and back off by approximately 160 points. Or I could go to the expected price movement range and, and put a stop really no closer than the lower end of that daily value. So this is 23,256. I'm really looking at something just below 23,250. Now, even 23,250 allows me to lock in a certain amount of unrealized profit. So that actually would qualify as a trailing stop because I'm, if, if that level were hit, I actually realize a profit. If I back off by 160 points, that too would qualify as a trailing stop. At worst, the stop should be nothing lower than 23,195 which represents the break even. All right, next up. And by the way, we've got Apple earnings coming up and Apple is a unique name that has major impact across the Dow, the S&P and the NAS, of course. All right, so next is copper. Copper was a good exercise and a little bit of patience. And we got our fill at 3.1080, uh, waited for this market to kind of gather itself, catch a bid, we put in uh, a lower low, then a higher low, then yet another higher low still. And then today, just like that, we hit our target. Now, a lot of traders got concerned that we didn't stay up near that 1780 target. And I said, don't worry about it. You pay yourself, you take perhaps a third, a half of your position off the table. And then we see this market snap back down to, and I love where we snap back down to, these Darvis levels give us so much guidance. Look where we are. What was once this Darvis level going forward, this is where we're stalled out. Fantastic, no problem. I have some framework for that, right? Well, we have a break even stop. So all we're re risking is unrealized profit on a smaller position size now. So I've reduced my risk and I've paid myself. You can't really do it any better than that. So with a break even at 3.1070, we look for that next target up, which is up at 2390. Well, that might seem really far right now, but as long as we realize this is essentially no man's land. We haven't hit our second profit target yet, and we're not break even stopped out. We just have to let the market do what it will. So one, we have some lines in the road, meaning these previous Darvis levels. And two, we can head on over to the metals and just kind of brace yourself. Be ready for the kind of price movement we're likely to see. And you can get that right from here. Just be ready for prices to move. You know, basically on the average to the upper end of the daily price movement range. And that way that kind of wiggle throughout the day just is part of what this market does 68% of the time. All right. Okay. So the other symbol I want to talk about is the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, another market. We had to be really patient. Now I love the follow up on this because this was a trade that in the last recap video, we actually talked about live and I talked about the projection of the levels that allowed us to place the 89, 15, 88, 78. And we haven't touched our point of validity. And I've talked about in the chat rooms, a number of ways you can manage this. My preferred target to the downside is 88.05. Uh, for some of you looking at where we sit right now, especially if you're looking at that 89.15, you know, I don't mind for those of you thinking, you know, this might be the first time I've taken New Zealand dollar Canada. Heck, this might be some of your first Forex trades. Who knows, right? But if you want to take a little something off the table, what I typically recommend is look at what the daily price movement range is for the Forex. This is important for a couple reasons. One, it's going to prevent you from 
making the very bad habit of taking random profit off the table. You really want your profits to be in line with the daily price movement range if you're on a longer term time frame and the hourly if you're in a shorter term time frame. This creates some minimums for expected profit and it prevents you from taking the quick profit the minute a trade goes positive. That's very a very scared and ineffective way to trade. So that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is look for a guidance trade, meaning if you have an intraday downtrend like the one on the 15 or the five, you utilize a level at which you'd say, okay, if the market pops back above the 34 EMA on the high, I can go ahead and take some profit off the table. A really good level for that might be 8860. You know, if you want to put your first, this is like a, like a profit target trade. You haven't taken anything off the table, but you might want to take a quarter, a third, or half the position off the table. If we pop up through 88.60, don't get flat. Just take something off the table, pay yourself, and then we'll see where the next target to the downside is. All right, that's tonight's recap video. I'll see you in the premium video next, members. Everybody else, I'll see you in the next update.